Welcome back, everybody. I'm Pixel Dragon, and you're watching a Let's Play of Elden Ring. In the last episode, we uh, traveled back to Limgrave and took down the Tree Sentinel, and we made our way over to Murkwater Cave. I'm a little curious what's down here, so we're just gonna make our way through it real quick. I suspect it'll be easy pickings, uh, just because it's uh, in Limgrave. And I have some pretty nice weapons now. Goodness gracious. It might be in the Lindgrave, but these guys don't mess around. High women gauntlets. Alright. Neat. Got a bunch of highwaymen, okay. And there seem to be two paths. I'm picking one at random. Because I, I want to try and do the... Oh, okay. That's the boss fight. Okay. Let's go this way. Mushroom times five. Sure. Pretty nice. Did I already get this? Yes, I did. All right, let's check this out. I suspect it's going to be a trap on, on this thing. Uh, let's do this. Well, well, well. Cloth garb, cloth trousers. Oh, you just help yourself to a man's personal belongings. Huh? <gasps> Patches! Yeah! Demand repentance! Cough up your boy! Wait, wait, please. I surrender. White flag and all. Okay. All right. Well, finally come round, have you? Gravel for mercy and you would. You're some golden runes. Through and through. <laughs> Uh, so if you don't know, uh, Patches is a recurring character in all of the Souls games, and he's always a trickster. He always does something to, like, try and ruin your life, and in previous games he, like, pushes you off of cliffs. You're like, oh, what's this item here? And you, you like, walk over to grab it, and, like, you hear this laughter and um, a cutscene will play, and you just get pushed off, and usually into a very dangerous position. Um, and uh, he's... it's just how he is. So it, it's it's fun that he's just in all of these... Um, all of these games. What do you know? You're tarnished, like me. Now, now, how did I get that wrong? I took you for a demi-human or some such. <laughs> An innocent mistake, I assure you. Well, water under the bridge. Now we're squared up. How about we play nice from now on? Uh, forgive and forget. A true man of reason. Just what I like about you. I'm Patches. Patches the Untethered. Tarnished like you, only free-spirited. Nomadic, you might say. Only for now, those retired soldiers turned bandits. And they're paying for my gruel. In exchange for my, well, showing them the ropes. But honestly, this looting racket is bloody terrifying. Frankly, I'm ready to wash my hands clean. Maybe set up a legitimate shop. So don't be a stranger. I'll be ready to wheel and deal come next time. 
Don't forget to pop back. I'll be ready to wheel and deal. Okay. Um. So. I return to the entrance. And I go back. I'd expect that I can uh, I would expect that I can just go and shop at his shop now. Everybody. Smoldering Butterfly and Highwayman Gauntlets. Uh, wrong direction. Dagger, dagger. Okay, so that's just kind of uh, junk fodder that I can sell for uh, a few runes. Oh my god, I, how did I go down this wrong, wrong path? literally twice in a row. Wait, what? Oh, here it is. The small crevice. All right, Patches. Well, nice of you to drop in finally. It's all a bit ad hoc, but I'm sure you'll find something. And welcome to Patches Emporium, where you won't need a refund, because everything's top-notch. I'm sure it is. Yeah, I had those bandits make a clean break. Now they're all suppliers, and good ones at that. I mean, they don't understand a word I'm saying, but it hardly matters. We have a natural connection. <laughs> they're all foot soldiers, survivors of a defeated army. Worked to the bone by their high and mighty lord, only to be thrown out with the rubbish. <sighs> it's the same old story everywhere I go. <sighs> to hell with it all. Hmm. Wondering what's inside the treasure chest. Well, it's a... <sighs> nothing too special. Just something I'm saving as thanks for a very valuable customer. But then again, it would fetch some spectacular coin. And besides, this valuable customer could be a long time coming. Huh? Everything is give and take. Give and take. Okay. That's ominous. Uh, missionary's cookbook. Script stone, grace mimic, and gold pickle foul foot. Margit's Shackle, a fetish bathed in golden magic. Shackles were used to bind the accursed people called the Omen, and these ones were made to keep a particular Omen under strictest confinement. Though faint, the Shackles still retain vestiges of power enough to trap the once-bound Margit on Earth, if only for a short time. Oh! So, Margit the Foul Omen... I probably could have used that on him. Uh, boost the amount of runes obtained for a short period. You know what? Um, yeah, missionary cookbook seems pretty good. Cool. 
Please for that. No, ensnared in a transporter trap. I should have seen that coming. Well, well, well. I should have known, you scheming little thief. The gods demand vengeance. Vengeance! Man, I already beat the crap out of him. What else is he going to do to me? Oh. Oh, hey, this is right where I wanted to be anyway. Uh, okay, so I want to go east. Right, I don't need to. I don't need to do this. I can just travel. You have been trapped. You can't travel until you rest at one. Okay, so evidently it puts a condition on you called trapped, and it prevents you from trap um, from fast traveling anywhere until you rest at a site of grace. So we'll just take this extra long ride, and in the um, while we take that ride, uh, we can enjoy that wonderful view once again. Man, that thing takes forever. I do think that the elevator stuff could happen faster, because it's off screen. Um, it is literally that far away, and so it's like, oh, you know what, if they pull it, it could just, you know, transport up, and then... Um, it, it would like teleport to a certain location and then start going up. That way you don't have to just literally wait the whole time. Almost here. Alright, here we go. So it froze, but I think I, uh, I, I think the video is saved. Oh, interesting looking place. Yeah, the game, uh, the game completely froze and crashed. I had to restart it. Thankfully, the video did not cause any problems. Ooh, there it is. I love this part. Like this game is awesome. It's just so, it's so pretty underground. It's like that hidden dwarven ruin in, uh, in Skyrim. That massive underground one. C oh, uh, Siofra, not, not, no, Sofria. Siofra. Can I level? I can, almost can. Let's let's get a level here. Uh, eight hundred. Actually, that is the number I think I need. I need four thousand. Need sixteen eight of sixteen five. I'll just use one. We go level 54 800 hp to 833 all right now i need 17 4. all right let's check this place out oh 
Oh, and I can ride torrent here? Oh, that's awesome. In my head, it was like a, it was an indoor area, so I was like, oh, no, I can't, can't do that stuff here. Silver Firefly. Okay. Dew kissed Herba, melted mushroom. Man, I'm getting a ton of that dew kissed Herba. I have no idea what I'll use it for. don't seem to have any wow okay so they do they do have one less just takes a bit okay man these guys are just so slow I think that's actually part of the, uh, that's kind of part of the um, difficulty, actually, is that uh, you're like, oh, these guys are so slow, and so you don't mind that a whole bunch of them gang up on you, and then it becomes dangerous. Okay. There's a thing up there. Golden centipede. Alright. I will say this, like they have amazing poise. I bet I can just run past these guys. Rainbow stone. Whoa. Alright. That sorcerer does not mess around. Alright. That's one of... Oh, there's another one. There's another sorcerer. Who else is casting that? Oh, you. Okay. Well, I've kind of had enough of you guys. You take a little too much to kill for my liking. But I do want to keep exploring. Ah, nice golden centipede again. When you see stair steps like this, chances are it leads to something. Oh, well, I can't get up there. Well, oh, I can. I just gotta get there. Here we go. That's how you do it. Okay, gotta be careful with these guys. I'm willing to bet those are casters also. 
Yeah, they don't have swords or those spear things, so. Throwing dagger. Okay. Here we go. bubbles nice oh there isn't ah, damn it there's an item up there so focused on killing that thing uh, I'm not gonna waste the time going back um, I'll look it up and I'll see if it's worth running back for because it's not terribly difficult to get there it just takes a minute and I'm trying to trying to keep things a little bit faster paced Ghost, ghost Glove Wart level 1. Uh, golden Rune, Smithing... Oh man, Silver Fireflies, Golden Rune 4, Smithing Stone 4, uh, Dewkissed Herba. Man, I got a lot of those Silver Fireflies. Come on, let me... Really? It's not going to let me pillage the remains? Alright, golden rune four. Alright, see y'all later then. I'm not going to stick around and fight a whole army of you. If they weren't so kind of tanky with their elf, um, I, I'd fight them, but either my weapon isn't up to snuff, or um, it's either that, or uh, they just have uh, a decent amount of resistance. Either way, it's just tedious to fight uh, a whole army of them. Uh, preserving boluses. Oh, oh, oh. Are these the poison? Alleviates scarlet rot buildup. Oh, nice. Okay. That is importante. What do we got down here? A beast liver. Try right. All right. Four. Oh, oh god. No, I don't want to fight crabs. No, let me go. Okay. And up we go. Uh, when I did fight the one in uh, in the academy, it just wasn't really worth it. Uh, you know, I, I took a bunch of damage. Uh... It wasn't hard to fight, but I did take damage, and I didn't really get a good reward out of it. Oh, nice. Set a race. Alright. Let's see if I have a map stone or something anywhere nearby. Uh, Siofra River Bank. I don't trust the look of those things. Uh, that guy looks real angry. Just at the fact that I exist. Item up there. 
Not gonna have any, uh, any map, huh? That makes this a little challenging, because this is showing me the surface map. Um, man. Oh, oh shoot, oh god. No, not you guys. I don't know if Bloodlust is going to really affect you, because you're a ghost. Um, man. I keep wanting to call them minotaurs, but they have human faces. Armorer's cookbook? Nice. I wish I could go back and see what the, um, like, see all the cookbooks I have picked up and see what they gave me so I know, um, what kind of cookbook to be looking for. Um, okay, so my, a strategy that I do need to figure out is how I want to, um, approach fighting ghosts. Because up till now, I, I rely a lot on blood loss. Um, let's see. Hmm. So let's do this. We're gonna go to the Table of Lost Grace. Um, I, I remembered I got that uh, glintstone wet knife. I, sh I need to give that over to uh, to this guy, probably. Well, I took you for no matter. It's all to say out your own. Uh, Ash of War on this thing. Magic or cold? Hmm. Decreases the base by nine, but increases the dex damage by eleven. And this would be nice. Let's try magic. Uh, now I'm doing quite a bit of damage on that. Um, but it does more intelligence scaling than anything else, so... Uh, still don't have enough level 1 things to level it up with. Greetings, are you here for spirit? Uh, let's see... Uh, now I need a Grave Glove Wart 3. Oh, I was saying Ghost Glove Wart. I, mu I must... Man. I must have been mis... Uh, misreading that this whole time. Grave Glove Wart. Okay. We will go back to the so Siofra Riverbank. Alright, Siofra River. Um, this is where we will pick up in the next episode. So, um, I I remember this place just a little bit, um, but I remember having a great time here. So, uh, yeah, I will uh, I will see you all in the next episode.